Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us. This is Yoel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris, and today we're going to be discussing The Print Demon. Now, before we begin and jump right into The Print Demon, I will point out that The Print Demon works together with the printout queue, and you're all cordially invited to view a previous YouTube video on the printouts queue in Alma. We're not going to be discussing in this session how to set up the printouts queue, but there is another YouTube video on the printouts queue, and there's also, if you want to go into Google and look, for example, for printout queue in Alma, and you can throw in there Ex Libris, and there's plenty of information there as well, and you can view that as well. For example, we've got here a presentation specifically about the printout queue in Alma. So we're going to be focusing now on the print daemon, which automatically prints out the letters that are waiting in the printout's queue. So I've got here the printout's queue, for example. And many of the letters in the printouts queue may be in status pending. And if I'm not using the printouts queue, then if I want to print one of these letters, I will select it and click print, or I'll multi-select and click print, and print them to a specified printer. However, it's also possible to install and define a print daemon which will go at a pre-specified interval of minutes, check this printouts queue, go to a specific printout queue, and automatically print the letters. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to install it, and we're going to see how it works. So, the installation is a one-time situation, a one-time need, uh, probably in your institution, the person who is going to be installing it will be the system admin, uh, not necessarily the person who will be using it. However, I'm going to be showing here both the installation and the use. So let's take a look here. Uh, I'm now in the developer's network, and if I go here to the App Center, I'll open this link in a new tab so we still have our, our blog here, which we'll point out shortly. I have here the App Center, and within the App Center we can do a simple search, for example, by print or print daemon, and get, here we are, the Alma print daemon. Now, that's the Alma print daemon, which we're going to look at this entry right here. We've also got here, in the blogs, in the blogs, you can search here by print daemon. And we have here a blog on how to use the print daemon. Now, a prerequisite for using the print daemon, as it specifies here, is to have an API key which works for read-only for configuration and read-write for task lists. So let's take a look at that. Uh, I'm going to go to a logged-in developers network. I'm logged in as a user in my institution and I'll go to my APIs and to my API keys and here I have read configuration area and, and write task lists. And we can see here that I've got for configuration read only, for production read write, uh, we can see that someone added permissions here for configuration and shows read-only, task lists, read-write. So that's the first prerequisite, because later we're going to need to take this API key and one time put it inside the print daemon. So that's the API key. Let's go on. Now we'll get the actual uh, print daemon from the App Center and install it. So let's go there. We're here in the App Center. We went to developers ex libris group com and we clicked App Center, right here App Center, and then we did a search for the word print. We could have searched for print daemon and we've got the print daemon. And if we click the print daemon there, we get an explanation of it, what it does, 
we click more info, and now it brings us to the GitHub of Ex Libris Group, and we've got the exit file. Click the exit file, and that is standard ways of downloading and installing. Now, I'm not going to actually double click now that exit file when it downloads, even though it's almost done, it's got seven seconds left, because I've already got it installed. So we'll look at my installation and we'll set it up. Now, uh, I'll go get my print daemon. I'll just write here, Alma print daemon. And it's like any software. I can put it uh, on my desktop, put it anywhere I'd like, and Alma print daemon. So now we've opened the Alma print daemon. It'll open, there it is, the Alma print daemon. Now, uh, configure. File configuration. So the first thing we need to do is put here the API key that we saw earlier. The API key that we have here, I would do copy, copy the API key, and put it right here. And in order to confirm that that API key correctly works, you click test, get Alma printout queues, and these are all the printout queues. Why do I have, for example, at the desk of Professor Alicia Hen and brand new printout queue, the Library of Chinese Studies printer? Because in my institution, which is Alma University, here, those are my printout queues. If I come now, and I go to Configuration in Alma, and I go to Fulfillment, and to the printers, the ones that are defined as queues here is the desk of Professor Alicia Hen, the brand new printout queue, the main desk with printout queue, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have more, this is by library. I can switch libraries, and I'll have them in other libraries as well. Uh, so that is my printout queues. Here's the Library of Chinese Studies printer, and here as well, Library of Chinese Studies printer. So I know that my API is correct. I'm going to come back here and go back into the main library because that's where we're going to be working today. Main library. So I know that my API is correct. Now I choose which printout queue do I want this print daemon to constantly check? And by using the control key, I can choose multiples. But just to keep things easy to explain right now and easy to check, I'm going to choose one of them. I'm going to choose the printout queue, which is called at the desk of Professor Alicia Hen. And again, I stress, you're all cordially invited to go see the other YouTube video on using the print daemon, the, excuse me, on using the printouts queue in Alma, because that'll make everything uh, a little more logical. Uh, just do a search in YouTube, the printouts queue Alma Ex Libris. Probably even printouts queue Alma will get there. In any case, uh, so let's continue. So I've defined my API key. I've said that I want anything which goes to at the desk of Professor Alicia Hen will be printed. I want every one minute for this print daemon to go and check if there's anything there, and then I define on which printer do I want it to print. For example, if I want it to print on the public S545 near IT or the near, near, near Iris, then I would choose that printer and say save. Now, Due to the way we have things set up here, and due to the fact that you're not in my office and we can't go physically look at the printer and see that a piece of paper actually came out because you're viewing a YouTube video and I'm making a YouTube video, I'm gonna choose a printer called Microsoft Print to PDF, and we'll see that a PDF pops up after one minute after I print something. So, what have we got defined here? We have uh, the print daemon will look at the printout queue called at the desk of Professor Alicia Penn. It will check to see is there anything in status pending, something which has not yet printed, 
it will check every one minute and if there is something there it will print it to the Microsoft print to PDF save now it says printing is paused I'm going to say continue printing so now it's already going to look inside the printouts queue at the desk of professor the printer at the desk of professor Alicia Hen and if there is anything new there it will automatically print it now in order for this print daemon to work this needs to be open and running and it's just running in the background there it is down there during the day it's running it can be on one pc at the circulation desk it could be at multiples actually because one would already change it to print it and it wouldn't print from the next one in any case it needs to be open and running which it is now I, i'm not clicking pause it's running all requested alma documents were printed waiting to request next batch everything is good and i know everything has been printed because it says it's there but I also know everything has been printed because if I come here to admin, printouts queue, and I filter by all and by at the desk of Professor Alicia Hen, I see that everything is listed at printed. But let's now print some things at the desk of Professor Alicia Hen and see that things will go to the queue and then go to the printer. Our printer is the PDF. So first of all, at my main library circulation desk, I will define that my printer is at the desk of Professor Alicia Han. I also have the main desk, I have the B. Dotan printer, I have the brand new printout queue, which is an example we used in the YouTube video on the printout queues. And here we are at the desk of Professor Alicia Han. So now anything I print here, or to be more exact, anything I print that goes to a printout queue, which is the loan receipt letter, the return receipt letter, the cash receipt, the resource request slip letter, and the hold shelf request slip letter, and the previous documentation which I pointed to about the printouts queue lists the specific letters which get printed there. Let's take a look at what's going to happen now. I have my printout, my print daemon is on. It's on and waiting. It's waiting to request the next batch. Here we go. So let's do a couple of examples here. Let's see what we've got in the pick from shelf. We've got that one. I'm going to do a different one in the pick from shelf. So let's say we want to look at physical items lean out. Everyone knows the lean in from Sheryl Sandberg, but I'm going to do the lean out. So here I've got the lean out is on the hold shelf. There's a request for it. It's requested by a patron named Alicia Hen. That's also the person who happens to have a printer at her desk. So here it is. It's on the hold shelf waiting. Let's loan it. We're going to say fulfillment, manage patron services, uh, scan the patron's ID, and loan. Okay. And I have this circulation desk set up to print loan receipts. So I'm going to click done. And now it's printing a loan receipt. In addition to printing the loan receipt, I'm going to retrieve another patron, Elia Zafrani, who by chance has a fine. And I'm going to override the block, and I'm going to pay part of her fine, and she's going to get, or I'm going to print for her a receipt letter. I'll print for her one euro, just so I have enough there for 98 more examples of that 99. Look what just happened. Okay, so we have now the first printout. This is the printout of the loan receipt to Alicia. And I'm going to save that printout. Let's save that printout. Uh, let's save it right here under this PC documents. And I'll say this is 1a.pdf. There's our printout. And this one I'm going to send. Yes, I'm sure. Let's see what's happening now. 
I'm going to go very quickly to the admin, because I've got to do this in less than 59 seconds. Printouts queue. Professor Alicia Hen, what happened? The loan receipt letter from right now, 1343, was printed. This one here, it's waiting one minute from a few seconds ago. This one here is pending. This is the cash receipt. We paid one euro for Elia Zafrani. And within the next couple of seconds, this one too will be retrieved by the print demon. And we're going to get a pop-up to print it. And normally that would be that it went to the printer and a piece of paper came out, which I can't show you now because I'm making a video and you're in your home or office watching the video. So there it is. This one pops up and I'll call this 1B. And notice that says pending. Save. But if I refresh this now, admin printouts queue, now they're both printed. The cash receipt is printed and the loan receipt is printed. And I printed them to this PC documents 1A, 1B. 1A, 1B, here they are. 1A and 1B, we'll open them both up simultaneously. There's the cash receipt which was just printed and changed in the uh, queue. Here, the cash receipt, the loan receipt, everything we've got, everything was printed. Now, let's do another example just to see it some more. So we'll return that now. Back into Alma and fulfillment return items. And now return it. And I'm going to click exit. And this is going to do a return. Oh, look at this. I'll save this as 1C. Save. And great. So now that too was printed. Uh, the wire, the, the loan receipt and the return receipt printed, by the way, just to show you, even though it's not directly related to our uh, print demon inside the main circulation desk. Edit, we have defined here, creates return receipts and creates loan receipts here. That's why we got the receipt. So back to Alma, back to the admin printouts queue and the return receipt letter was also already printed that was what we saved as 1c i believe we saved it as and here it is click that one open and there's our return receipt so the letters again the letters automatically to the print queue and they wait in the print queue and then the print demon comes along waits for the next batch, one minute goes by, it sees that the letter is waiting here in the queue, and it prints it. That's the Alma Print Demon. Thank you everybody for joining us, and we hope to see you in our next session. Have a nice day.